Well, this is Barbara Magnolfi of Suspiria, and you're listening to Without Your Head. Welcome to the station of decapitation without your head. I'm Nasty Neal, and I'm joined by legendary composer, the maestro, Fabio Fritzi. How are you? Hello, 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 Neil. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It's great to have you here. <laughs> And uh, you'll be coming to the States, United States here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, your yeah. Tour in for the third for the third time. Third time. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so give people an idea of what they're uh, what they're in for if they go and see the composer's cut of of your film. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. 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 This is, uh, you know, yeah, we, we started uh, doing uh some years ago, um, um, a show on uh, on Lucio Fulci, which, who was uh, an old friend and and my one of my, the most important director I've worked with, and um, the first show was called and is called to the seal, uh, Fritzi, my name to Fulci, dedicated to Fulci, and uh, and the, the, after the the first the, we were in the states. And uh, one of my um, musicians on a plane, we were talking, and he told me, but why we don't do the same thing that, uh, for example, Goblin and many other people do, the, uh, to do a, a, a live score of a movie. Mm -hmm. And I told him, uh, uh, the, the reason is because in, uh, in those movies, uh, yes, th there was quite uh, a lot of, of music, but not so much. So I, I told him, I cannot say on stage, uh, playing 20 minutes, 25 minutes uh, during one hour and a half, and a half movie, because we, we, we seem to be some statues, okay? <laughs> and uh, but he told me, but Fabio, you are the maestro, you wrote, uh, so you can do something. And from that uh, speech uh, came to me the idea to, 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 to take one of my favorite, uh, and the, the first one is The Beyond, and then try to, 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 to write... Uh, uh, a new score, not a real new score, to rewrite the old score in a new way. What does that mean to rewrite it in a new way? <laughs> <laughs> Means that uh, no. Um, the, the, the first, uh, the first um, reason was, uh, as I told you, to fill the show with more music. But uh, mm -hmm. obviously, immediately after, I had the, the, the artistic problem to create something. Uh, that had a, a sense, no, not uh, mm -hmm. just to put some mu some more music, and uh, I had uh, many chances in, in that. Um, it was at the beginning of uh, in, uh, last year, and uh, um, first of all, there was a friend in LA, um, Bob Muraski. He had uh, the original uh, um, the original score. He he has uh, the, the 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 royalties for the the states. Uh, about uh, uh, the beyond, and he gave me as a friend, and he gave me all the lines, you know, the the dialogue, uh, the, the 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 effects, and the, the original music uh, separated, so I could uh, understand what it what, what was really put into. Then I found also the the, the old uh, notes that I took with Fulci, so I, I knew what we had decided before the end, you know, that uh, the the director all, always. Uh, in the end of the mixing, uh, can do some choices, can keep off some music uh, or, 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 join, or join something else. So uh, I had the, the situation very clear. So I, I started to rebuild that, uh, that situation, that music, rewrite everything. And I wrote also a, a new theme just to link everything. So nowadays, uh, obviously, it's not the original movie is that one. But uh, this is a new proposal of reading in another way, maybe a little more modern. Consider that nowadays I am 66, uh, more than double than I was then. So mm -hmm. also the experience has a, a weight. Mm -hmm. Is the actual cut of the film any different? No, the cut is uh, completely the same. There is a queue in the, in the beginning where the, the, there are uh, the, the names of all the people who helped me, uh, Bob for the first, uh, Bob Muraski, my manager, my musicians, and so, and um, just a, a, a black queue, you know, and then 
it starts uh, like it was. Uh, let's say that uh, we play uh, on the original with uh, uh, the only way you could, with a metronome track that I built uh, minute after minute, and uh, that leads us uh, to play in the, co in go in the correct moment uh, the single themes, obviously. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose uh, this particular movie, The Beyond? <laughs> Uh, you know, Neil, uh, I think that I, I thought, obviously, to uh, Zombie, which was another possibility, mm -hmm. uh, City of the Living Dead, another good movie. But uh, to, to try to do this, uh, this job, to try to, to do this, uh, this project, uh, I, I, I decided to, 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 to start with uh, maybe the most complete a movie, most complete music I, I had written for, for Lucha. Uh, this is a, a, a score where, where there was a, a good band, you know, my old friends, uh, Pignatelli and uh, everything else. And then a good orchestra, a choir, my Mellotron and so. So it was maybe the more complete uh, of my works with Lucha. Also, if I love uh, <laughs> also many others. But... Uh, I, I, I thought to myself that maybe also my friends, my fans could uh, appreciate uh, an idea like this. Mm -hmm. Now, is the original score still there in the movie? Does like uh, the live score blend in with the, how does that work? Does the, is the live score still in the movie? The original? No, uh, no, the, 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 explain to you. Uh, in, in fact, the, the, the old, the, the old, the, the original, the original you can hear in many situations is uh, Obviously the same, but played by by, by me and by, by the band. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we left, this is just a curiosity that nobody knows till now. Uh, we we left the the um, in, in the movie. I don't know. Maybe you know the, the beyond uh, the movie. Uh, you have seen. Yes. Uh, there, there are two two moments in which there is a, a band of uh, of swing in the, in, a, in a bar in a in a pub where they are drinking a beer. That uh, I left uh, my original uh, recording because I, we couldn't uh, do with a, let's say, rock band, uh, rock classical band, play something uh, which is another genre, musical genre. So this is uh, from the original, and uh, in the end, when the 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 the, 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 the old painter comes back and it's the, the end of the movie. There is one moment in which I had put um, some uh, uh, it's, um, a line from Zombie. There is a, uh, something that I have taken, I had taken from Zombie. So we play under, um, and there is a, that line on, uh, which is the original. But just two moments, I think, uh, three minutes in, in complete. All the rest is uh, played live from me and uh, uh, the other six uh, uh, composer of the of, um, of the band, the per person musician of the band. Yeah. Um, what's like your process when you when you're scoring a movie? Do you do you have to watch it multiple times? Uh, as you can imagine, uh, every time it's something different. But uh, usually, I read the, the the script before before all. Mm -hmm. um, the the, the def normally is the what we say, sceneggiatura, with the definite script of all the movie. Then, uh, then you must enter the reading, L like like you know, if, if, if it uh, was a book. Now you you must uh, enter and understand the the, the 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 weights of the of the characters and everything. Then. Uh, if if it's if there is the possibility, it's not bad to go on uh, on set because uh, uh, you have to speak a lot of time with the, the director to understand what does he want to to write, obviously. But um, also being uh, um, in, in the mood, it's not bad. You you can uh, catch ideas um, and so. Then obviously, when the the, the movie is uh, almost ready, the first cut uh, you have to. To see, to and to 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 learn completely, and uh, let's say that the, the original process to for for a composer 
uh, I think in Italy, but not only in Italy, is that uh, in the end you go into the Moviola you, and you take uh, the, the, the single uh, we, we call AMS, uh, mean um, uh, musical, uh, mu musical pieces, with the, the, how, how long from, from, this, from where to start and where to, to end, uh, the changes, the, the synchronization with the, this is the technical moment uh, where the things uh, become something else. Mm -hmm. now, when you talked about like uh, reading the script and, uh, and the characters, when you're yeah. doing that, do you ever think of specific sounds or type of music uh, specifically for the characters? <laughs> yeah, you, you can. For example, in the, in the Beyond, I remember I was on set with, uh, with uh, the, the two actresses, uh, the one who was Emily and the other. Uh -huh. uh, and and uh, you, can, you can catch also ideas from the situation, from the beauty of the... And, 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 to, and to think about how to describe. Now, it, you, mm, you, um, the composer, I think, is a, is a, a person who have to uh, to be the terminal of many of many feelings, and you if you get to to to, to this, uh, you can hope to to write something something good for the movie. Mm -hmm. So, how did you uh, how did you get into composing scores for films? Um, I had the chance to be in a family where where my 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 dad. Uh, was in the um, in the cinema show business. Let's say he, he was a director of a distribution in Italy. So um, since I was young, you know, in uh, eating uh, for dinner or for lunch, we have we were I, I, I was uh, listening to stories uh, to uh, this movie will be out uh, next week and uh, and and you and you grow in a sense it's uh, it's fascinating or something like this. Then. Uh, I had uh, probably I was uh, born for, for for doing this job. So when I met uh, for the first time uh, the the composers uh, in Italy, I was uh, was young. I was uh, mm -hmm. more a little more than a kid, and uh, and I fell and I used to fall in love with some themes. And you, maybe oh, obviously you know Morricone, but there was uh, people like Carlo Rustichelli, like uh, Trovaioli. I met them. Uh, and I and I and I could listen to the the the, um, the records also before the the film was out. And um, this was a a, a a love that was um, that that, that um, was under um, underground, if you want. Then uh, at forty, I, I started uh, playing, uh, studying classical guitar. Then my maestro told me. I understood that. Uh, he, 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 he has uh, quite an extreme in, in, uh, in uh, on, on me, and I decided after the first band, uh, some classical group, and so I decided to, to start uh, studying uh, comp composition. Um, my dad didn't want me to be a musician, so I started also at 18, 19, when I ended the school. I started st st studying uh, for being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I really did not want to be a lawyer, so I did all examination. But in the end, I told to my to my dad, uh, I want to to go ahead. In in the meantime, I had met uh, some publishers, some some people like this, uh, and uh, I, 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 at the age of 22, I, I, I did my my first movie, and uh, and it was my life, and I'm still uh, so passionate about doing music. Mm -hmm. Uh, were you a fan of uh, film, you know, not just music? Yeah, but um, <laughs> you can imagine that, that every week when I was young, we were in, at cinema, obviously. Uh -huh. So, so it was uh, it was easy to fall in love. Uh, and I think that nowadays, you know, the, the cinema is not uh, in the best moment of its life in all the world. But I think it's uh, one of the most beautiful art that we have. Also, in the new, in the new way of the the, the short uh, sh short movies, I think that in telling something, telling a story, in this way, is always one of the most interesting, beautiful thing we can uh, we can have. Mm -hmm. So, um, how did you meet Lucio Fulci? 
Uh, I, I told you that uh, I had this uh, uh, publisher. I met I, I, when I was 20. I, I was at the university, but every day I was around looking for somebody who could help me to do music. And I met uh, one, uh, one great publisher here in Roma. Uh, he was, uh, his name was uh, Carlo Bixio. And Carlo uh, gave me the possibility to begin. And after a while, after a couple of years, I, wor I was working for him and for his company. He, he suggested me to, to create a trio. So it was born my, my trio for five years, Bixio Frizzi Tempera. After the, the birth of that trio, uh, there were they were other two musicians. Tempera was a, a little more um, older than me, and and he, had, he was a really a great maestro. So I, I could learn a lot also working with him. And um, at a certain point, uh, Carlo told us uh, um, tomorrow you have the meeting with a, a director. It's um, it, it was a. Um, a Western movie called I Quattro dell'Apocalisse, The Four of the Apocalypse, with uh, Thomas Millian, uh, Fabio Tessi, and uh, many other uh, um, good actors. We, we get there, we were, we three, we were in the last line of the, that uh, cinema, little cinema, you know, it's a, it was um, the, a screening for controlling uh, the, the editing. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we, we met this man. It was a, it was a, a great man. It was not an easy man. Was, he had a, a face. That we were quite afraid in the beginning. We were very young, all three. <laughs> and, uh, but he told us, uh, consider that it was a movie at, um, with uh, cowboys and things like this. No, not cowboys. It, it was a, a story of a, of a travel. In the in the ancient West, and uh, the only suggested movie uh, template we would say it was was Bob Dylan. <laughs> so, so Lucia told us, "I would like you to write something like this." Uh -huh. <laughs> I told him, "You are crazy," <laughs> because uh, knocking on heaven's door it wasn't so easy to to get to get, uh, to get against. Uh, but uh, anyway, we, we loved the old, I loved also the, the, the country music, American country music. So we, 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 could, we began writing uh, songs and in the end it was a, a, good, a, a good meeting with Lucio. In fact, uh, it, it lasted for many, many years, our, our collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, when you guys would, when you would do a, uh, the score for a, a Fulci film, yeah. How hands-on was Lucio? Would he, would he, um, would he just let you do your thing, or would he say, would he give advice? Um, Lucio was was in a way uh, um, a good uh, a man of great culture, mm -hmm. and uh, and he loved the music. I think he he also used to play something. He was a friend with many jazz. Um, um, just musician, the great level. For example, I, I think uh, Chate Becker, a, a trumpet, uh, one of the most important uh, trumpet player, was friend with him. So when you when you had to speak with Lucio, it was not uh, so easy because he knew what he he wanted, and sometimes he, he could give you some uh, some good indication. But um, first of all, Lucio wanted uh, a mood. Wanted uh, um, um, a spirit. He, he could suggest what he wanted the audience uh, get f also from music. So let's say uh, he, he wasn't absolutely an easy uh, man to work with. But um, maybe also for this, uh, uh, it was my the, the best school of my life because I think that from him I I could learn so much about doing. Uh, a soundtrack, which is not an easy, uh, an easy job. It's so beautiful. I love it, but it's uh, sometimes a lot of times to have to be a, an artwork, an, an art musician, say, an artigiano, artigian. Mm -hmm. um, would there ever be a time where you would uh, write a specific uh, piece of music in in Lucio, or maybe even someone else? would just be like, no, I don't like this, and you'd have to 
just totally rewrite it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Neil, this happens almost every time <laughs> when you are. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you, the, many people think that uh, our life is easy. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our, life, if, uh, our life is beautiful because we love to do this. But um, you have to, to um, have every time to work with people who has sometimes other ideas. Sometimes you, you, you can understand me when I tell you that uh, often happens that you cannot have a great esteem of your director. I'm not, I'm not telling about Lucio. Lucio was great. But in certain situation, you have an, a, an idea and that man says no, and you say, tell me something <laughs> <laughs> clever. <laughs> But anyway, no, with Lucio, yes. I, 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 sometimes I, I had to told this little story, a movie that you know very well, which is... a. Uh, Uh, city of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. um, the, the beginning, the start, start of the movie is a, a symmetry with a subjective of the camera uh, who walk uh, uh, through the the, 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 the the situation. And, and uh, my idea was uh, something, it, it is uh, the, the beginning of the day, there is a, a little light, uh, uh, um, very, um, I had the sensation on, of something uh, quite, uh, so, something um, sweet. And then in the end of this, of this scene, you, you, you see the, the priest uh, who, who is uh, dead. Uh, no? So in that moment, uh, the, the music, according to me, had to change and, and, be, and become more, 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 more strong. So we arrived at the mixing, uh, and Lucio did not uh, listen to this, uh, theme, which was with uh, strings, uh, flute, uh, and so. <laughs> We sit down to begin, and uh, as he listened to the, mu the music, he said, what is that? <laughs> I cannot say what he told. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and uh, and I, I thought I will die in a couple of minutes. <laughs> But uh, in, in the end, we went back to Moviola, and, uh, you know, Lucio was very, uh, very hard uh, as character, and That song we never put in the in the, in the movie. Nowadays, uh, I, when I do the um, the suite of uh, City of the Living Dead, mm -hmm. obviously I play this also because it is in the in the record. And many people says maybe it's the most beautiful theme of the movie, but you, you, it, it it can happen. And I think that if 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 Lucio was here with us. Uh, Till today, maybe he could laugh about this. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, what was he like outside uh, of working together? Were you guys friends? Did you socialize? Yeah, that, uh, imagine uh, that Lucio was uh, uh, older than me, uh, more or less the age uh, of a father. Mm -hmm. So we, in the beginning, I was uh, 25, 26. I was really, uh, in that time at 25, you were a kid. <laughs> Not today. Today, something had changed. <laughs> uh -huh. But... Uh, It was very kind. It, it, it was, uh, uh, as I defined as some friends of that time, it was one of my old friends, a friend of another age. And I can tell you that after, after some years, before there was a trio, from uh, Zombie, I was alone uh, with him. And I tell you that um, sometimes we, were, we, were, we went to, to it uh, to, together out of the set. I mean... And, uh, and he, he was telling me his problem, and we were talking together. He was a good, uh, a good man, and I, and I had a, a great uh, memory of him. Of him. Mm -hmm. well, why do you think you work so well together? But maybe because uh, we were we were honest. I think uh, each other. Um, um, I, I knew that uh, I, I, I I could give everything, and I. You know, with, with a people, with a person like Lucio, you have to work hard. You have to 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 find what you have in, in deeply into into yourself because it's not easy to to give him a, a shock, you know. And I could I could, could arrive to to give him some some good shock doing the first movies we did. Then I think I I think I I say honest. I mean, when you are 
um, when two friends or two people are one one in front of the other, and they they know that uh, there is uh, the best uh, each, each each other, and they give the best they can give. I think uh, the your, the relationship can go on well. Uh, it, he used to treat me like uh, like a son because, uh, uh, and we we had, uh, for example, uh, some. Uh, some uh, I don't know how to tell in English, but some little names, you know. And I was the guy, il ragazzo, no. <laughs> and uh, another was uh, every one of the of of the crew had uh, a surname that uh, the Tucho gave us. So I, I was I was the the, the boy uh, because I was young. And also when we we ended our collaboration, uh, the last was uh, Cat in the Brain. Mm -hmm. uh, I was 39, so I was, <laughs> for him, I was quite a kid still. <laughs> <laughs> that was very cool. Um, yeah. were, did you like horror movies? Or do you like horror movies? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, I, I learned to love uh, day after day, because in the, in the beginning, I did not know so much. Since I was involved in... Uh, I, I started to, to love horror movies, understand. Mm -hmm. And then nowadays, you know, that many, many young people in the, in the new generation love this genre, and, uh, and I'm so proud to be involved in. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do a score for a horror movie, um, is it any different than a different genre of film? Uh, um, uh, I... I <laughs> I told you an adjective just one moment, a few moments ago, honest. If you are honest with yourself, I mean, you know, when you face a project, you must understand. And I can tell you, obviously, nowadays, I have, a, I think, I have a style. It's so long time I, I work on this kind of movies, mm -hmm. telling about horror. So... I know I know what people expect from me, but I know also that I can uh, I can be free. I can go in front of my piano and uh, and find many many because I, I'm confident in myself. But uh, but don't believe sometimes a uh, comedy can be uh, more difficult than, than than a horror because in every situation you you must uh, in, uh, it's a game. Uh, um, on the genre. I mean, uh, uh, horror is a horror, um, comedy is comedy, western is western, and the most difficult thing is uh, to, uh, to, to give uh, something of your personality in each one. Sure, the horror without music uh, cannot, cannot live, I think, uh, without a good... Uh, maybe other gens are music can be a little less important, a little. But I can tell you, for example, I, mean, it, um, I have in mind in this moment, the um, Forrest Gump, for example. Right. It's an easy theme, uh, Alan Silvestri, great musician. And, uh, and it's an easy theme, but uh, when the, the movie starts, uh, you are into. In one minute, you are in the movie, you are in the story. So you see, the the, the, the music is so important, and I'm and I'm so proud to be in the field. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what type of instruments and sounds um, have you f found to work best in the horror genre? In the horror genre, uh, we start from the traditional. Uh, um, Bernard Herrmann uh, with, uh, uh, with Hitchcock, uh, the great orchestra. Okay, now, da, 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 and you can you create a situation, cluster, and things like this. Uh, in my personal experience, uh, um, for example, uh, maybe you, you know that some uh, keyboard uh, are very uh, were important, like uh, Mellotron, my my beloved Mellotron, mm -hmm. and uh, and many other keyboards that my uh, musician played. Uh, so, but uh, also I think that um, the voice can be important. The um, the strings. Many times also my uh, my loved guitar, my instrument. For example, in the beginning of the theme of. Uh, 
um, paura nella città dei morti venti The City of the Living Dead and this is guitar and then after a couple of, of tour of, of chorus you are you are quite uh, in, into the story so um, I, I always thought that uh, um, you, you must see First of all, if you are a composer for movies, you, you must uh, see which, which is uh, the, the budget you have got in your hands. Nowadays, uh, obviously, uh, when I write um, um, new things, uh, I, I have the help uh, of uh, so many software. I use everything. I, and um, I'm uh, just like a baby with <laughs> its, uh, toys for me. <laughs> But uh, I, I can tell you this, that if I have a little more money, Uh, 20 strings, it's always quite important. Mm -hmm. Now, when you said that um, before when before you started to be a composer and you watched movies at, at the cinema, uh, yeah. did you, was it always Italian movies or did you watch American movies? No, you, mm, consider that in, in, in Italy we always uh, loved, uh, yeah, we had a good cinema when I was really, really young. I mean, Antonioni, Fellini and many others, but um, our eye was always uh, in the um, toward um, to USA, uh, Great Britain, also France. Um, I, I love uh, nowadays also uh, French cinema. It's not uh, as it was then, but uh, but I used to love it so much. Um, uh, uh, America is always uh, still in Italy the most important. Uh, Um, cinema market that we face uh, at, and uh, so f and, and you can imagine that uh, movies like Zombie mm -hmm. were were born uh, just to imitate, just to go, uh, <laughs> just to follow mm -hmm. the, the the great production in, in the states. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe uh, here we always refer to it as Zombie Two. Yeah, yes. <laughs> zombie two. Yes. Right. Yeah, because yeah, we, we call it zombie two, but because uh, the, there was a, in Italy, I, I think that the, the, the Romero movie was called Zombie. Yeah, Don so, the Dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Don the Dead. Exactly. So the, the producer said, "No, we have to do zombie two. <laughs> <laughs> and they started with yeah. that masterpiece of Lucio. <laughs> well, when you're doing zombies specifically, um, and there's such great scenes in it but one that always stands out is a is a shark versus zombie uh what goes through your mind when you're making music for for a scene like this but you know that, that it, this is a, a something really uh, that became became really a cult uh, yeah a, a cult uh, um telling about uh, um, I, i had some friends that were in berlin when tarantino was uh, was sh shooting uh, Uh, the, the movie uh, about uh, the, the, the Third Reich, uh, 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 Bastardi Senza Gloria, Unglorious yeah. Bastards. Mm -hmm. And I had some friends with them. And uh, the, the, this friend told me that every night we, they were eating after shooting it. And so, and they were, we were telling me, but how could Lucio do that <laughs> scene? <laughs> you know, the, the, the zombie against the, the shark. Uh -huh. Now, in, in fact, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a, a scene that became really uh, something magic, something. But uh, no, the, the, this, you know, that uh, theme was, uh, in fact, uh, something that I took from my uh, ex um, experience with the trio. I had written with them uh, one, uh, one thing. And I, I retook this and I re rebuilt this theme. Mm -hmm. and, and it came out something... Uh, very useful for the movie and it was there what it was in the end when there is uh, the walk the walk of uh, of the, the zombie walk uh, towards new york and uh, it, it works very very well and uh, i can tell you that uh, in the concert when i started oh, 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 everybody's uh, <laughs> is uh, with, with the hands it's it's great it's a uh -huh. great experience and uh, from then started all my collaboration with uh, with Lucio about uh, about horror movies mm -hmm. you know what would you, what's your what were some of your favorite movies that that you watched 
I, I have a, 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 a really cult movie since a long, 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 long because I, I love every uh, every movie I, I, I see. I mean, uh, there, there there are so many, but uh, there is there is one I love, uh, in, uh, and every, every now and then, every six months, I, I take a, a new look, which is uh, Blade Run. Blade Runner. Oh, uh, I think that Blade Runner. Uh, and 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 Vangelis, uh, the, the composer, influenced me so much in that in that moment because uh, because he is uh, uh, Mediterranean, but he is also uh, creative uh, at an incredible level. Mm-hmm. Um, Blade Runner, I love Blade Runner because I think that uh, in that movie, every time you 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 look at, mm-hmm. you can find a new. Uh, uh, new n- new things to appreciate to understand. Mm-hmm. It's always uh, um, it's a, it's an incredible story according to me yeah. on on life on uh, on the philosophy of life mm-hmm. and uh, it's fascinated me in- incredibly and also that music uh, with the synthesizer the sax uh, the story of love uh, with with a woman we maybe it's not a woman but maybe mm-hmm. she is it's uh, so. Uh, for me, it's uh, so in- incredibly interesting and uh, and, st- and strong. Mm-hmm. And uh, are you looking forward to uh, the sequel that's coming out? I, I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. think- because after all, all this time of love, I'm a little afraid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I no, I totally understand that concept. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um. I just want to mention that it's uh, October 29th and the 30th. You'll be in uh, Williamsburg, uh, Music yeah. Hall of Williamsburg in New York. Yes. And uh, you'll also be in Boston on the 24th. That's the one I'm going to be at because I'm here in Massachusetts. And, wow. Uh, so you said it's the third time uh, you're in the United States. Yeah. Uh, do you like the United States? And I know you have great food in Italy. So what do you think <laughs> of the food in, 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 the, in the States? <laughs> no, uh, Neil. I, I can tell you that uh, I love to. I love to travel uh, w- by myself with my family with the band, and um, I think that maybe it was one of the most beautiful thing in in life uh, to go to meet people, uh, to 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 smell uh, new uh, new things that are different from yours. I, I love very much uh, the United States, uh, and, and um, I, I also thought to, to, to try to come there um, and for living. But uh, till now I am in Roma. But um, um, the, the, the most uh, different uh, of this third time is that uh, for, for two times we went uh, most, of all, most of all in, uh, in, the, in the West Coast. We went to San Diego, LA, San Francisco. This time is the East, mm-hmm. and and I love I love New York so much. And I've never been in Boston. I'm so curious. Uh-huh. And and the, and the, you know the, the the beautiful thing is, thing about this kind of uh, project is that we have a niche. We we, we don't have billions of followers, but uh, everywhere you go, everywhere till now it was like this. You find uh, uh, good friends, uh, people who love uh, what you what what I have done, mm-hmm. and uh, and it's um, really a, a great uh, great emotion to 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 get every time in uh, in touch with uh, with people. Which uh, it's a great family, you know. It's mm-hmm. uh, the, the, uh, also in Europe, but America it's incredible uh, everywhere. Yeah. Now, last year for Halloween, I actually saw the original. Phantom yeah. of the Opera, the black and white, the, the silent uh, Phantom of the Opera with a live orchestra, which they did the live <laughs> score, and it was it was amazing. It was actually one of my favorite experiences at, at the movies. So I'm really <laughs> looking forward to this. You know, not just because <laughs> you're here, because I really think it's going to be a, an amazing experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, the, 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 yeah, unfortunately, this time I cannot come with the orchestra in the states, but. Uh, mm. I, I can tell you that I will them. try to do the best to do the sure, next time. Sure, sure. <laughs> but but anyway, uh, uh, my musicians are really great, and people who have seen uh, 
them last year, they are the same of last year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I know that they were quite appreciated, so <laughs> yeah. I'm comfortable. Yeah. And I do want to mention on the in the New York ones, uh, on yeah. the October 29th and the 30th, that they have yeah. exclusive limited edition vinyl records that they're going to be selling. Yeah, yeah, there is a, a new a new vinyl that uh, our friend Justin uh, yeah, is, is preparing, uh, which is uh, the two the two maybe most important themes uh, uh, that uh, that people love of my production. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the 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 basic theme of zombie and the basic theme of, uh, of the beyond. Yeah. The, so yeah. a new release. Uh, mm-hmm. That's gonna be very and, uh, cool. Yeah, and then, and then we have some we have quite uh, good things that we will uh, have as a merchandise. I think that the list uh, I will uh, publish on my on my page uh, in uh, in a couple of days. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you mentioned Quentin Tarantino um, earlier. How how did you uh, how did you get involved working with Tarantino? No, I I did not met uh, him personally because it was uh, one more of my publisher uh-huh. who called me and told me uh, th- there is interest in uh, in, the, in the theme of uh, the psychic. Uh, Tarantino would, would like to put in uh, his movie, and so I told him why not? <laughs> it mm-hmm. seemed to me a good idea, and uh, and I can tell you that when we uh, they came for the the, the first screening in Roma. And I was very moved because uh, Tarantino is a great uh, artist, mm-hmm. and our it was our song because it was from a movie from the trio, uh, and and I can tell you that. And but that theme uh, I was very in love because I, I had written the dun 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 da da dun when I really was um, very very young, and seen in that in that movie was a blast. Totally a blast. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you like his films, Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, I, I like um, Tarantino. I, uh, is a great personality. Mm-hmm. So uh, you must uh, you must enter in, in the in the situation. Uh, great, great, uh, great hand. I can tell you that it, there there was a moment, uh, uh, more or less twenty years ago, mm-hmm. in in which I couldn't uh, see old movie because they were too 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 strong for me. And, and I have da- done many things in that genre. Mm-hmm. But uh, I remember one uh, one night uh, I was looking uh, and I, I stopped the te- television because I couldn't see. But because it's very 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 hard. But uh, but I think it's um, is is a man with a, a, a great talent, and uh, and and some movies are really great. For example, I was telling you about uh, the uh, Unglorious Bastards. Mm-hmm. Uh, I loved very much that uh, that movie. I, I found it uh, really, really great, well done. Uh, um, I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, when I mentioned you were coming on here, I had some uh, comments on Facebook, and uh, Seb Godin, who's a who's an independent uh, director, he's, he's up and coming. He just wanted to say that he always <laughs> listens to the Beyond soundtrack when he's writing. It says that he, it's wow. a big influence them. Well, <laughs> make me so happy than this, huh? yeah. really. <laughs> right. And Doug uh, Metherall, he wants to know, um, after so many years of working on great scores for films, is there any one that hearing it today makes you sit back and smile? Uh, I, I, um, talking about one of my movies, huh? Yes. Uh, you, you mean the, the one I, I don't like, huh? No, I think the one that you really like that you would you would uh, make ah you okay yeah. okay, but um, I think that uh, the, the 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 scores are like children. I have yeah. five ch- five children, it's and it's quite difficult to say right. to one or the other. I prefer you. So <laughs> so no, I I think that maybe I can tell you one one score uh, that I love uh, so much, but it's about a. Um, uh, it's always a, a Fulci movie, mm-hmm. but uh, not a great movie, which is um, Manhattan Baby. N- mm, it's considered not uh, the top from, for, from Lucio. But the score, every time I play, uh, I, I, feel, uh, I feel that is one, uh, one thing I'm proud of. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing you come to the States 
And um, you can go to the website and you can find all the different uh, locations you'll be at. And we'll have the link here on, on Without Your Head. And it's uh, been an honor to talk to you. Uh, I would like so much. You know, we will not have so much time because we are one day after the other. But uh, but if we are if we stay in touch, ne- tomorrow never knows. You know. Oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay. But it's been an honor to talk to you. Thank you so much for uh, doing the interview. Thank you, Neil. Uh, Neil, and uh, and uh, let's stay in touch. If you are around, uh, it would be a pleasure to meet you. Excellent. This is Robin Hardy, author of the screenplay and will direct and produce The Wrath of the Gods, the third film in the Wicker Man trilogy. And you're listening to Without Your Head.